Hi, welcome to Who? What? Wednesdays! I'm Lily Norton. And I'm Veronica Florentino. Here are this week's news briefs. Today, the second annual Jail and Bail event was held, which raises money for the Special Olympics by arresting students and faculty and forcing them to raise bail money to get out of jail. Last year's Jail and Bail was extremely successful and it raised over $28,000. Although this year's was scheduled to be outside, inclement weather moved the jail to the lower level BCC. Entertainment was provided for the inmates and people walking by, including live music, dancing, and free food. Surveys show that almost half of teenagers blamed singer Rihanna after she was reportedly beaten up by boyfriend Chris Brown. Tapa Laza, the director of public safety at Fairfield, said that if students were educated on abusive relationships, they wouldn't have reacted in such a way. Dr. Elise Harrison, the Assistant Director of Counseling Services at Fairfield, said 30% of college students in the nation have been involved in abusive relationships. After the university received a $500,000 grant for the Bellarmine Museum, the university must actually raise another $2 million for the project. The project is set to open in the fall, but the university will not have the money to raise this until 2013. That gives us a lot of time to do that. Yep, yeah, they have time to prepare. That's good. In other news that shouldn't surprise any college student, a recent study done by the University of Cal Colorado showed that using laptops in class has a negative effect on a student's performance. Many teachers on campus have realized similar trends and have disallowed them in class, citing the temptation to do other things on their computers. That's interesting because uh, a dozen professors at Yale also banned computers. Yes, and, and we, we did an article on that earlier this year, so mm -hmm. um, it's a trend. It, Women's tennis won the MAC championships this past weekend in Flushing Meadows, New York. The team will head to the NCAA championships on May 6th. The team was led by junior Paulina Reese, who was named the most outstanding player after a 3-0 performance in doubles and a 2-0 performance in singles. See more in this week's issue about who the Mirror wanted to see arrested in jail and bail. And an article about registration for me in commentary. I'm Lily Norton. And I'm Veronica Florentino. Thanks for stopping by. And New York. New Yorker. New York. Veronica's a New Yorker. <laughs> <laughs>